Okay, so I thought I maybe I just I I just don't understand. Um, uh, you know, and I'm using it plasticity wrong. Okay, so look, I've I've just clicked. I haven't committed to the length of the line. You can use tab to go into the text field. So let's go there. Type 50. Press return to enter it. Maybe return again. No, nothing. Right? Okay, that's a bit shit. Um. I mean, unexpected. I, okay, so now let's say click, click, and then go tab, and then go 50. Return, return. Is that 50? No. So I, I, this is like, I don't know. They they need to kind of sort this sort of draft, you know, sort of basic 2D sketch drafting. I mean, I know this is kind of, that's not really how they want the program to be used, but if they want it to be used by CAD people, um, they need to sort this out because this is like this is not good. Um, I mean, I, I'm you know I'm <laughs> I'm I just dabble in the CAD stuff and I'm just thinking this is not how I expect things to work. And and maybe I'm just not used to this sort of new paradigm or whatever. Um, but it's like um, okay, so I'll click click tab. Let's go 60 millimeters. Return return. That's not 60 millimeters. Okay, so maybe is, is it tab then? So click, click, tab, 60, tab, return. I mean, oh yeah, now we let me get this. It's like, which it's sort of like, oh yeah, this is 60. Oh, you want to create a new thing? Okay, so let's say, um, okay, let's try. Um, I just, ugh. Um, I'm I'm fighting it a bit. I mean, maybe it's just I'm not understanding that the sort of methodology behind how how I'm supposed to be using the program. But it's just kind of like, um, I mean, it's sort of. I guess it's intuitive if you have never used another CAD program. But if you use other CAD programs, it's really confusing. Um, so it's kind of, and it's sort of you don't want to, you know, because if everyone just follows what everyone else is doing, nothing changes and things just stay the same. So. Um, I mean, there are other things that I quite like, but it, this basic functionality and this really needs to be, you know, um, I mean, I know their thing is like, well, we're not really focused on doing dimension drawings. We're sort of exploring sh shape ideas and shape language and whatever, um, sort of product design kind of stuff. Um, but they need to, they do kind of need to get this sorted out because it's like, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, this is like instantly for saying I'm not going to be using this. I'm going to be using shape of 3d uh, which obviously you know it's a, it's a, a subscription based pricing and cloud and all the rest of it which are all the things that i hate like at autodesk um so you know hats off to them for the uh pay once and you get it um but it's just I, yeah I, I i don't think for, for me this isn't going to work uh, which is a shame because it, it like uh, there's you know I, I'm I'm sort of slowly using Blender more and more. So if it's similar to Blender, I'm thinking I'm you know I think oh well, I quite like it. Um, but this kind of you know I need to especially with 3D printing where it's like you need to, you need to get the millimeters bang on. Um, yeah, I'm I'm I I think it needs a little bit more work. I mean, not massive thing, just just a slight tweak of the you know how how if you want to kind of battleship the numbers in <laughs> um you know because you you've got a a um you know calipers and you're measuring something in one hand and think oh and, and you've got a really bad memory and you want to put the number straight in which is kind of how i do you know make stuff is i have my calipers and i start measuring the let's say the gopro i want to model a gopro right um then you want to kind of put the number straight in straight away so you don't forget them <laughs> um and that sort of functionality i can't do here which i can do in um shape of 3d and then, you know maybe i'm just sort of you know nitpicking um but the thing is if you're doing this this sort of if you're doing the same process over and over and over and over and over you want that to be as quick as possible and getting you know modeling something from a real world thing into into a cad program is you know that's like bread and butter kind of work you do that all the time you know you get part and you measure it and you transfer it into the computer right or you get a scan or something um so yeah it'd be interesting to see how it works if it can work with scan stuff i mean i know this is kind of maybe pushing outside it's not that's not the scope of the project perhaps and maybe i'm expecting a bit too much 
Um, I mean, it's you know, it's lot, it's a lot to like. Um, it's sort of simple interface, and but it's just like I really feel that the dimension thing is kind of crucial. Um, you know, if it's you know, if you're doing if you're doing CAD. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop the video there. It was just, yeah, I, I mean, I really would like this program to succeed, and um, I just think maybe it needs a bit of a nudge in the right direction um, to get it maybe a bit more on par with with the others. But at the same time, I can understand them the, the wanting to kind of strike out in their own direction. I mean, that's how, how progress happens. Is is um, you know that the the, the main applications like let's say I don't know Fusion 360 um, sort of get stuck in their ways and then they start removing CAD CAM features that were once there and it's like oh suddenly you can't machine your your part <laughs> um, because they want you to upgrade your plan or something all that sort of rubbish all that kind of I mean it's sort of like um, yeah I'm not gonna go off on a rant on that um, but anyway this is just um, a sort of little update um, yeah, I, I do really hope this this program, you know, hangs around. <laughs> just a few tweaks here and there, and and yeah, this this could be a really great program. Um, because I I I hate the whole sign in thing and having to have the internet connection to check your licensing and all this rubbish. I mean, I understand obviously it's commercial enterprises they want to protect their IP and all the rest of it. Um, but it's just like as a sort of end user, you know, my uh, my 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 note you know my uh, notepad and pencil never runs out of battery and i don't need to log into anything um and that's kind of you know you wanted and that that was i mean that anyway i'll just stop there because i'm going off on a rant um but yeah it's just this one issue that the, the the how to put in as i say sort of the battleship approach a little bit like the sketchup idea you know with the with the boxes i did in the previous video it's just they need to sort this out um because it's like um or Someone explained to me that I'm doing it the wrong the wrong way, the, the non-plasticity way, and I'm, I'm misunderstanding something because this is like I can't, I don't think I can use this if this is how I'm going to have to, if I wanted to rebuild, let's say something like a GoPro in this program, how am I going to do that? Okay, that's it.